Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you through a day in my life. I'm going to show you everything from what I eat before I work out to my insane arm day and a little bit of everything in between. But before we get started, make sure to like this video, comment on your favorite arm exercises, and subscribe to this channel. It really helps this channel out and you are going to learn a lot from it. So, with that being said, let's dive into the video. Welcome back guys. Okay, so to start off, we are going to make coffee because coffee is my pre-workout of choice, gives me the energy that I need to fuel my entire workout. And then we're gonna start making some waffles. These are gonna be protein waffles. I'll show you the brand so you can make them yourself. All right, let's start with coffee. Okay, so the coffee is made and now it's on to the waffles. There's a lot of times when I just don't have time to make waffles from scratch. I really like to, but when I can't, I use this brand. I can link it down in the description. And it's protein waffles, super easy to make. It only takes about five minutes and they come out perfect. Okay, so one of the reasons why I really like pancakes and waffles before I go to the gym is because it gives me a lot of carbs and I find that when I have carbs, I can go through my workout even better. I feel more energized along with the coffee. I'm on another level. I'm on cloud nine, ready to push insane weight. So that's why I like to have these waffles. I feel like I really get a great boost of energy and it can last me the entire time that I work out. So we're heating up the griddle right now and we're gonna start pouring the mix. I always add milk and egg to this mix, but that is something that is up to you, up to your discretion. If you don't like eggs or you are lactose intolerant, you can just add water. So we're gonna start making those and then we are gonna be talking about our arm day today. Okay, welcome back. So, we just finished making the waffles. We're gonna carb up and then head to the gym for a massive arm day. I'm gonna give you tips on how to make your arm workouts better and give you tips to see more muscle put on your arms. So, with that being said, we're gonna dive into it again. Okay, so, time to talk about arms. Let's get into the first tip, which is make sure to work out your triceps because triceps are two thirds of your arm. Now, great, you know to work out your triceps already, but what kind of exercises should you do? And my favorite exercise for triceps is the chamber bar press or the pronated dumbbell press. Now, why do I like this movement so much? I really like this movement because it really activates and engages your triceps throughout the whole range of motion. And yes, it does hit your chest too. However, having your hands in that pronated position really makes sure to target the tricep. Okay, so you're probably thinking this dude is insane. Why didn't he say rope pull downs? Let me explain. For me, rope pull downs pull my shoulder out in a very negative position, causing more stress on my shoulder. However, pronated chest press does not cause that same stress on your shoulder. In fact, I've never felt problems doing a pronated chest press, and that's coming from somebody who can't bench press that often or couldn't before I started fixing my shoulder, couldn't bench press because I had shoulder problems. So this exercise will keep your shoulder safe, but it will also engage the triceps and make sure that you are growing them and making them stronger. Okay, so then what rep range do you want? I would say you want to stick within 10 to 12 reps for three sets. 
when we are working on our arms, we want to make sure we are increasing the time under tension. I want to see slow and controlled reps to really stress those muscles out, causing them to get bigger. Strength is important, and you will notice that your strength increases on this rep range. However, we really want to focus on that time under tension. That's what's going to break down the muscle, and that's how it's going to get repaired and build back even bigger and stronger. So three sets of 10 to 12 reps in slow and controlled movement. That's how you're going to explode your triceps, making them pop like you've never seen before. Okay, and an added bonus onto this workout. You wanna make sure you really hit those triceps and really cause them to explode. Do a set of inward push-ups right after you finish that 10 to 12 sets. Hit your set of 10 to 12 and then go straight into inward push-ups, keeping those shoulders and elbows tucked in nice and tight in order to really engage and target those triceps. You are going to feel a burn like never before. It's gonna feel so crazy and you are going to be putting time under tension. The key thing when we're talking about arms, even biceps, it's time under tension, making sure that we really stress those muscles out. Okay, so here is the one that everyone has been waiting for, the biceps. How do we make these biceps grow? How do we make them bigger? So you're probably used to doing bicep curls, probably standing. However, if you do seated bicep curls, it forces your back to stay in position. This causes more strain on your biceps, making sure that you can't cheat the weight. Seated bicep curls really cause you to perfect your form, making sure that you really are stressing the bicep out. You are not using your back, you are really engaging that muscle and making sure that the bicep is doing most of the work. That is how we wanna put the maximum stress and force on our muscle. So you're probably thinking, I already know to do seated, seated curls, what else do you have? Okay, so now that we know to do seated curls, let's start off talking about the first set. What we wanna do is make sure that the first set is hammer curls at a heavier weight. This is gonna make sure that we build strength in the biceps, and then after you've done the hammer curls for eight to 10 reps, go straight into a superset of seated regular bicep curls. And here we wanna really burn the muscle and go for hypertrophy. Whatever weight you can do for 15 reps, do that right after your hammer curls. This is the perfect combination of combining strength from the hammer curls and hypertrophy, building that muscle and really making sure that you are fatiguing the bicep. The key here is hypertrophy, hypertrophy, hypertrophy. Making sure you are hitting that high rep range is going to cause this muscle group to grow. The biceps really work well under high reps. You could do heavy weight, low reps. However, you're not going to see as big of a growth as you would with higher reps. Higher reps just really make sure that the muscle is being activated, engaged, and that you are going to see the maximum growth in them possible. My final tip and something that I talked before about is reverse curls. Reverse curls are great for the bicep because not only do they work out the bicep, but they work out your forearms and grip at the same time. This is essential when talking about biceps because biceps include a lot of grip strength. And by working on your grip strength and forearms, you are going to notice that you will curl more weight in biceps. Any movement that you are doing with biceps, you're going to notice that the weight that you can curl or the amount of reps you can curl is going to go up simply because your forearms are increasing, your grip strength is increasing, and you're gonna be able to hold that dumbbell for a longer period of time. And just to clarify, when I'm talking about reverse bicep curls, I'm talking about barbell curls, just because I like something that I can go a little bit heavier on. However, I still make sure to stick with that three sets of 10 reps. Again, going for hypertrophy and really blasting those biceps. Okay, so that was a lot of talking. You guys were probably sick of it. I'm done talking. Let's go smash this workout. Get that pump on, boys.
Okay, so we just got back from the gym. It was an incredible arm pump. I felt super good the entire workout. I got a huge arm pump, a little back pump, but I was feeling super good, super energized. The waffles in the coffee definitely kicked in and gave me the energy that I needed. Okay, so now I have to go do lung therapy because if you don't know, I have cystic fibrosis, which is a lung condition affecting about 70,000 people worldwide. And cystic fibrosis is something that I've had ever since I was born, ever since I was a little kid, I had CF. But I'm not here for you guys to pity me or to be like, poor you. I am here to encourage you instead. The things in life that are the toughest are the things that make us the strongest and battle it out every single day, no matter what struggle you're facing, no matter what obstacle you have to overcome, take it day by day. Get up when you don't want to, go to the gym when you don't want to. Battling out every single day, step by step, you're not even going to realize how strong you are. And once you overcome that barrier, once you've overcome that obstacle, the person you've become will be unrecognizable from the person who you were. And when you've been down and when you've been broken and you realize that you can get back up and you get back up stronger, that's when you've become undestructible. So that's my tip. That's my motivation for the day. Hopefully it helps somebody. And just realizing that you can do it and every single person has the ability to accomplish their dreams and accomplish their goals. So I'm going to do my chest therapy and then we are going to wrap up the video. And I just finished my therapy, so I am going to wrap the video up here. I got schoolwork to do, so I'm gonna go focus on that. But if you made it to this part in the video, hit a like for your boy, leave in the comments, what is your favorite arm exercise? Thank you guys for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. Subscribe for more awesome content coming your way and watch one of these two videos that is gonna be posted at the end of this video. So subscribe for your boy. Help the channel out. Peace, dudes.